Mr. Hitler If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler Now pay attention everyone. I brought you here into the scouts dressing room because the vicar has made a special request to hold some function or another in the main hall. Now I want to review the disposition of our troops in the somewhat broader... Oh I'm so sorry. Sorry, right, Sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> broader strategical picture as it now is. In other words, where do we tell Jonesy to stick his bayonet? That's a water. <laughs> now, Hitler is across the channel here, licking the wounds that we inflicted on him at Dunkirk. <laughs> but make no mistake about it, he's a desperate and dangerous man. And perhaps even more so now that he's become enmeshed with our ally, the Russian bear. I always thought that they were communists. We won't go into that now, Godfrey. <laughs> In times of stress, one can't be too choosy about one's bedfellows. As Robinson Crusoe said when he met Man Friday. <laughs> now, we are standing shoulder to shoulder here on the shores of dear old Blighty. In the middle, Jack Tar is ruling the waves. <laughs> and in the skies above us are... The Brill Cream Boys. The Brill Cream Boys. <laughs> <laughs> now, as I was saying, yeah. you're late on parade, Pike. Sorry, Mr. Manry. Sir. Now, there's far too much of this laxity going on. What did you say? Uh, there's too much laxity. Funny thing to give a lecture about. <laughs> well, what have you got to say for yourself, Pike? My mum wouldn't let me have my tea until I'd tidy my room. Well, come without her tea. Well, she won't let me come out without my tea. Now, I'm going to take a very serious view of this absence without leave. Take his name, Sergeant. Yes, sir, yes. Right. <laughs> now, as I was saying, the enemy is here in his phalanxes, and <coughs> we... Uh, <laughs> You take his name? Yes, sir, yes, 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 sir. I didn't see you write it down. But I don't have to write it down, sir. I know it. <laughs> so, when I tell you to take a man's name down, I want you to take it down in case you forget it. Well, I'm hardly likely to forget it, am I, sir? I mean, I've known it for 19 years. <laughs> I'm not suggesting that you forget the man's name. I'm suggesting that you put it down so that you won't forget that you've taken it. Do I make myself clear? Yes, you do, sir. You do, yes. <laughs> right. He doesn't make himself clear to me. Ah. <laughs> now, what do you do with that handkerchief? Just tying a knot in it, sir. What for? Well, to remind me to take down Pike's name. <laughs> you would have simply to write it down. I haven't got any paper. I would have thought that you, as a senior in would have had enough initiative to borrow a piece of paper. Yeah, well, I... Can anybody lend Sergeant Wilson a piece of paper? No, 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 no. no, no, no. You see, you, you didn't want us to have anything in our pockets when we came on duty. Just our rank, name and number. Uh, in case one of us was captured. Yeah, you didn't want to show any intelligence. <laughs> Some of us haven't got too much to show. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sit down. Corporal, really Corporal, Corporal, don't start, Corporal don't sit start. down. You see me after the parade. Blimey, it was only a joke. War is no joke. What was I saying? Stick it. I stick it on the board. Stick it on the board. <laughs> Bike's name! Ah, yes, that's a very good suggestion. Do that, Sergeant William. Yes, of course, sir. Uh, where's I, the chalk? I don't know. I haven't got the chalk. Well, you had the chalk, sir, when you made the diagram. I haven't got the chalk. Well, I mean... Well, it's on down what? there. There it is. Oh, There's thank you, Jesse. Thank you so much. How kind of you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I find that exceedingly humiliating. Oh, don't be a Jesse. What is it, my pal? Well, I'll tell me mum and she won't give him his egg. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. Hitler and his lackey Mussolini are here, across the channel. We are guarding our strong points, which are the Stones Amusement Arcade here, <laughs> and the Novelty Rock Emporium here, <laughs> with our advanced headquarters in the middle here at the Marigold Tea Rooms. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, here we come to a rather serious technical point. It's quite on the cards that Adolf has got these places very well taped. <laughs> After all, we've been here for quite a long time. He has air reconnaissance, photographs, espionage reports, and so on. In short, he could well observe our comings and goings. Now, the point is, what are we going to do about it? Don't go so often. <laughs> You're being very tedious today, Walker. When we was in the Sudan, we used to have to employ a little wrinkle. Because when the fuzzy buzzies discovered where our headquarters was, we had to move to and elsewhere. And when they came at us with their great weapons to the place where we wasn't, we fired on them from a place where we was. <laughs> See, we went in with a cold steel. And they couldn't abide that. They didn't like it. No, all right. They didn't like it. I haven't finished yet, sir. I think you've made your point. Thank you. He doesn't let you finish, does he? He doesn't let you finish. Right. Now, so, if Hitler thinks that we are here, or here, as from tonight, we are, in fact, going to be here. Now, can anybody tell me what that is? A box with a dunce's cap on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Harris's orphanage. Holiday home. Right, right, Walker. The Harris Orphans Holiday Home Hut. Now, it has good strategic position, very good observation, and an all-round field of fire. Ah, and three dozen screaming kids. No, 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 no. no. They were removed to a safer place after Dunkirk. They used to wear little blue aprons and little straw hats, and they built the most marvellous sandcastles. I used to want to join in with them, because they always looked so happy. Yes, that's the place you A sister and I had three of the tea one day, yeah. and they had cream buns. My word, you should have seen the way they tucked in. Oh, <laughs> I've forgotten the taste of cream buns, you know. Hey, I really do you am. remember at the but... Marigold Tea Rooms, they used to fill yeah. the buns with cream while you waited? Yeah, that's right, yes, I always used to let the sugar off first. <laughs> 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 You <laughs> scrubbed your nose and made you sneeze. It was very difficult to get that ice cream. Get it back. Get it back. Get it back. Keep quiet, everybody. I'm so sorry. Beg your pardon. Can we get back to the technical situation? Yes, of course. I'm so sorry. Beg your pardon. So right. <clears throat> now, if Hitler attacks us here or here, from now on, we shall give him everything we've got from here. The Harris Orphans Holiday Home Hut. <laughs> Is it? No. Two, two, cut! All right, as well. As you were. Come on, Godfrey, as you were at the double. Come along now, sit down like the officer said. <laughs> I thought Sam Wilson was in charge of this guard. Yes, sir. Well, I'm second in charge, sir. Where's Sam Wilson? Well, he got a little bit drowsy, so I said he ought to have 40 winks. 40 The old clear hasn't gone. He's the guard commander. He's supposed to be awake and alert at all times. Yeah, I know that, sir, but I... Well, you know, I... I said I'd wake him up as soon as the invasion started, sir. Oh. <laughs> Wilson! Wilson! Oh, oh. Give it a rest, Mavis. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson! Wilson, what? wake up! Oh, I'm so sorry. I beg. I'm so sorry, sir. Do beg your pardon. I'm so sorry. Is anything, anything wrong? Hmm? Come outside. Right, sir. Right. Oh. Now, Wilson. What? Wilson! Yes. <laughs> Why don't you come outside. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Just, just putting on my boots. Would oh, I give you an order? You must jump to it. Yes, of course. Sir. Right, right. Yes, follow me. Right, I will. Sir. Yes, follow you. Uh. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes? Where's hmm? your hat? Uh, uh, here, sir, here. Yeah. Well, put it on. Oh, right, sir. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry, sir. Would, would, would you mind holding that for a moment? <laughs> it's only difficult to do this without a mirror, you see. Awfully difficult. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is, that, is that quite nice, do you think? No, oh, never mind that. <laughs> Look here, you're supposed to be setting an example to the men. Yes, that's right, yes. How can I expect them to be on their toes during an alert if you're fast asleep? Well, you see, nothing very much is happening, sir, so I, th I thought I'd have a little nap, you see, and I've had so many disturbed nights lately, what with the air raids and one thing and another. <laughs> Not interested in your excuses, if excuses they be. You're going to have to pull yourself together, aren't you, Wilson? 
the rest of them can stay awake, you're going to have to, aren't you? Or else stand down for somebody who can. Well, sir, if you're dissatisfied with my services, That's all, sir. I mean, I really wouldn't dream of... Oh. Any sign of them, Fraser? Of course not. And no Christian soul would venture out in a black night like this. It's too dark for a randy tomcat. <laughs> <laughs> be that as it may, keep a sharp lookout. Uh, will, there, will there be a, a cup of tea on the way to help clear my eyesight? Yes. Pike's right. coming along with one in a moment. Good. <laughs> Any chance of a cup of char, sir? Yes, Pike will be along with one in a moment. Right. Just pay attention a minute, will you? Sam Wilson just told me that um, he has great difficulty putting his hat on properly without a mirror. I'm going to give you a little wrinkle, which I think you'll find invaluable. Let me your cap a minute, will you? Right. Thanks. <laughs> <coughs> now, the scheme is that you, you put it on roughly at first, like that, and then you take the forefinger and push it up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> up, up the outside, of course. I will feel buttons, you see, with the finger, and align the hat thus. You see? Then you put it on one side, as usual. <laughs> and they're off. <laughs> so that on active service, even if we haven't got a mirror, there's no excuse for our not being turned out properly, is there? Right. Arthur? Yes, yes. Oh, Arthur, it's ever so dark, and I swear someone was following me along the prong. Oh, really, Mavis, that's hardly likely. Not mm. everyone finds me unattractive, Arthur. Oh, I didn't mean that, Mavis. I didn't mean that. But she bought with the black hat and so, you know, you mean look just as attractive as anybody else. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Frank forgot your biscuits. Where is he? He hasn't arrived yet. Hasn't arrived? He left ten minutes before I did with the flask. Arthur, what's mm. happened to him? Well, really, Mavis, how should I know? Oh, he's only a baby. Yes, I know you he is. should take more care of him. Right. Perhaps that prowler's got him. Now, perhaps he is the prowler. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't worry too much, Mr. Pike. Probably lost his way in the blackout. Yeah, Mrs. Pike, he's probably got entangled with some lady follower. I used to do a lot of that when I was a young rip, a lot of that, you know. In the springtime, them young maidens get a bit lustful, you know. <laughs> I know something's happened to him, Arthur. No, no, no. Something's happened it's to all him. Right, Mavis. Heavens. What was that? What is it, Trevor? I thought I heard a faint cry. Oh, it's from over there, by the water's edge. Help! 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 Quiet, absolutely quiet, absolutely quiet, please. Help! That's Pike. Oh, Arthur! All right, Mavis, all right, all right. Are you all right, Pike? I've hurt my leg and I'm caught in the barbed wire. <laughs> Stupid boy. What's he doing out there? Well, he probably lost his way and went through that gap they cut in the wire for the bathers. Well, Arthur, hmm? don't leave him there in agony. Go and help yes, him all right. back. All right, Mavis, all right, all right. All right. Now, look, here, would, would, would one of you mind very much uh, sort of helping me over the wire? Oh, oh, I wouldn't have tried that if I was you, no. Sergeant. <laughs> He'd be blown to smithereens before he took ten paces. Good Lord, yes. The minefield. Oh, oh, minefield. oh God, he's in the minefield! Arthur, That's... he's in the minefield! All right, all right, all right, Mr. Pike. We'll have him out in no time. Sergeant, yeah. go and ring the engineers. Right. Tell them that we want a path cleared at right, once. Right, right away. All right. It's a miracle. The boy was not blown up getting out there. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Permission to give young Private Pike a few words of advice and encouragement. Yes, of course. Right. Oi! Pikey! Don't you cheer up, boy! Don't you move a muscle! Or you'll get blown to kingdom come! <laughs> <laughs> Cold and wet out there. Him with his delicate chest, too. You ought to take more care of him, Mr. Mannering. I'm waging war, Mrs. Pike. Not running a clinic. <laughs> <laughs> what news of the sappers, Wilson? I'm just on to the nurse, yes. It really is most terribly kind of you, but uh, I, I wonder if you could possibly manage to get here just a, you know, just a teeny weeny bit sooner. He really <laughs> would be most awfully grateful. That is, thank you so much. It's very kind of you. All right. Goodbye. Well? Well, they're having trouble with the landmine, sir, I think. That'll be about three hours, I'm afraid. Three hours? Yes, three hours, indeed. Yes. Oh, well, he'll just have to wait, won't he? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Serve him right. Hmm? Teach him to be more careful in future. He'll drown. What? Hey? What did you say? If you wait three hours, he'll drown. The tide's coming in fast. 
Blimey, he's right. When you when that tide comes up, you can't even see that wire. Arthur, you've got to save him. Save my boy, yeah. Arthur. He's too young to go. He's got all his life before him. It's all right, Mave. It's all right, all right, all right. But just let me think. Will you just let me think? Just for one moment, please. While you're all thinking, no. the water's coming up. My no. friend can't swim. No, all right. I'm going to get him. No, no, no. Stop. 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 And we can rescue him by the sea. Arthur, from the nearest salt haven. By the time we rode back here, the boy had been drowned for a whole hour. Oh, all right, Mr. Fraser, right. do try and choose your words a little more carefully. <laughs> did anybody see this minefield laid? Yes, I did. It, 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 it made a sort of uh, a kind of crazy pattern. Come in here, I'll show you. Hi, Aldo. I'll use these shells. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the orphans used to collect them. They're pretty, okay. aren't they? They said, if you held one to your ear, you know, you could hear the sea. Yes, yes, all right. <laughs> the mines were laid about in rows, about five of them, and, and they were laid about five yards apart in a kind of pattern just like that. You see, sir? Yes, yes, I do see. So we can assume, then, if Pike were lying here... Aye. There'd be a clear path through here to the hut. Right. Yes? Hang on, uh, wait a minute. If we pick the wrong spot, it means we're going to step on five of them. Uh, look, look, I, I think I read a pamphlet about it some time ago, so I think the done thing is to sort of uh, prod the ground and then, you know what I mean, feel for the mine, you see? Just prod it and then uh, yes. prod and feel for it. Yes. Feel for and prod and yes. Yes. feel for the thing. Yes. <laughs> prod. That's very good thinking. Uh, yes. Yes. Why don't we prod with the bayonet and then if we feel anything, we can detour ourselves? Look, hang on a bit. What, what about all the scaffolding and the barbed wire? No, no, that's for tanks. It's no obstacle to us. We'd have to cut the wire. Well, I've got a pair of big cutters down in my shed. Right, that's the very thing. Go on. Now, look, uh, we can't wait for the engineers. We'll start clearing a path ourselves, and we'll mark out a route for you to follow. Right. right. Well, we, we could use these little flags. <coughs> yes, yes, I do. Go on, off you go. Right. Yeah. The orphans used to stick them on top of their sandcastles, you know. They looked awfully gay. Yeah. Now, I know I don't need to ask for any volunteers, so no, come on. on. Follow me. Right. Right. Keep as close as you can. All right. Not you. What is it? Oh, don't you go, <laughs> Arthur. Mate, what are you talking about, Mavis? Oh, I couldn't bear to lose you both, no, Arthur. No, no, no. Let the others do now, it. Now, Mavis, there are some things that one just simply has to do. Otherwise, one isn't a man, is one? Hmm? You've always managed somehow, Arthur. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not now, please, Mavis, please. See ya. Help! <laughs> All right, Pike. We're coming. That's quite possible that we're going to have to carry him out. So we must clear a path. Wide enough for two. Yes. Captain Manrin, I should like to volunteer to clear a path which is wide enough for two. Sir. All right, all right, Jim. George, I'll come later. Well, uh, let me do the prodding so I could do the prodding. No, no, Sergeant Wilson and I will lead. Oh. Sergeant Wilson. Sergeant Wilson, yes, ready? Come here. All right, all right, I'm just coming, sir. Just had to have a little, uh, little um, sort of a, a chat with uh, Mrs. Pike. This is no time for that sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Wilson and I will lead. You, Corporal, will mark the route. Very good, And not no, 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 no. <laughs> <coughs> Godfrey and Fraser will bring up the rear. Aye, sir. Where is Godfrey? We, he's not here, sir. Not here? I don't understand. Don't you? Seems crystal clear to me. What are you trying to say, Fraser? Ah, it's all the same. The slightest first whiff of danger is off, like a scarce weasel. You've no call to speak like that, Private Fraser. Well, he's not here, is he? No. Begging my pardon, sir. Private Godfrey is quite frequently not here on account he has to stay behind sometimes because he has to go. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Well, it gets taken short, so taken short. Oh, I see, yes. <laughs> yes, well, no, no, no doubt he'll follow. Right, give me the torch, Wilson. I haven't got the torch, sir. I distinctly remember telling you to bring the torch. I'm sorry, the, the, the word torch never ever passed your lips. You know perfectly well that you are responsible for the torch. No, sir, we've had all this out before, you know. Is that, I mean, what it's ridiculous going on What are you doing? What are you doing? Well done. <laughs> <laughs> You shine it, Fraser. Aye, sir. Right, now, grab a bayonet, Sergeant Blue. I'll take the one. Yes. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Corporal? Yeah. What are you doing? You right. touch my bayonet, so you touch my bayonet. <laughs> well, it's bothering your bayonet, man. Oh, sorry, sir. It's reflex action, you see, sir. Reflex action. Sleeping <coughs> in the bush felt, sir. Years of sleeping in the bush felt. Pull yourself together, you rats. <laughs> right, here we go. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Yes. Mm -hmm. sir. <laughs> Now, Wilson. Yes, sir. Yes. Make quite sure that there's nothing in front of you. 
before you advance. Yes. Follow? I do, sir. I certainly will. Right. <clears throat> it seems pretty soft here. Yeah. Feels all right. Yes, it is all right. Wilson. <laughs> There's no need to prod every inch like that. <laughs> <laughs> These things are at least eight inches apart, you know. No, no, they are, sir, but I, I think one really one can't really be too careful, you oh. know. Come on. Right. Uh, Come on. Move right. on. Right. <laughs> I think it's all right, sir. Permission to speak, sir? Yeah. If it wasn't all right, I think we'd probably know by now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Corporal. We'd better start marking the route, hadn't we? Right, sir. Pass me a flag. Here we are, sir. <laughs> Can't possibly use that one. All right, we'll have this French one, so they're fairly reliable. <laughs> right, prod on, Wilson. Right, sir. Who's there? Oh, it's only me, Mrs. P. Oh, my heart. I thought you were the prowler. No, better luck next time. <laughs> Where are they? Down there, I think. Right. Mr. Manor in? Yes. Hurry up, the tide's coming in. We're coming as quick as we can. Sir, I think, I think I've found something. You feel like a mine? Well, it's a little difficult to know, sir. I haven't had very much experience with this sort of thing. Well, is it hard? I don't know, sir. I mean, one hardly likes to overplay one's hand, so to speak, in order to find out. Let me feel it. Right, you feel it, then. There's something there. Yeah? yeah? Get the sand away from it. Right. Wilson. <laughs> There's a boy out there going to drown if we don't get to him quickly. Clear the sand away. Oh. Oh, for heaven's sake. What's this? What's that? A handbook of field engineering and mine warfare. What on earth that, then? <laughs> How to lay a minefield. Oh, God. <laughs> Blimey. Halt. Who goes there, friend or German? <laughs> <laughs> it's only me. How did you get here? Uh, well, it struck me. If you could come along the water's edge from the bathing cap, I could do the same. I bought a pair of water wings. They should take a long time getting there and help you keep a boat. You can't swim yourself, can you? No, it's all right. I've got two lots of water wings. <laughs> you see, and I bought a blanket, too, in case you were cold. Oh, thanks very much, Mr Godfrey. I don't know what my mum would say if I caught a chill. Well, you better start blowing these up, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Jones. Mr. Mannering! Yes? We're here, Walker. Right. Yeah. Mr. Mannering, sir. Yeah. I bet that poor young Pikey's getting a bit anxious. Yeah, I expect he is. Am I right, Pikey boy? We're coming for you, Pikey! Right, Jones, 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 please. I really don't understand how to stand much more of that. Well, he's only given a few words of advice and encouragement. No, don't. Just keep quiet. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? I found something. And, and, and here, sir. Oh. And there? Yes. They must be much closer together than you thought, Fraser. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it could be a stone, I suppose. It could be. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. let's, let's clear this. Uh, let's see if we can lift it out. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait a minute, sir. Wait a minute, sir. You better be careful. Some of those things have got booby trap devices for trapping boobies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up, Joe. It's metal, all right. Not pretty big. Here we are, sir. I've got a clip us. Right, what's happening? I don't know. Every time I open my mouth, it tells me to shut it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mine. No. Hey? Can't, can't, can't we scatter around it, sir? No, 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 no. There's another one here. Yeah, you've oh, got to be God careful, you know. Shit. Some of them are booby trapped. I mean, they've got a wire. You touch it's the all wire. Right. We oh, know. Right. Oh, we oh, know. Oh, oh, for heaven's sake. There's some writing on this. <laughs> mm. Not been law or Abic Must be Russian. <laughs> well, they were on our side. These are our minds. Oh, it's of course, of course, yes, sir. The whole thing gets so confusing, doesn't it? Yeah, come on, wait a minute. Hang, let's get past. Hang on a minute. Right, let's have a look. Right. Oh, Welcome to Warmington. Oh. <laughs> it's a kid's bucket. Oh. <laughs> 
A bit similar in shape. <laughs> Evening, Mrs. Pike. I hear there's a bit of trouble. Where's Napoleon? Down there. Saving my boy. What's he doing flashing that light? Doesn't he know there's a raid on? He'll have the jetty planes buzzing round here like gnats. Put that light out! Mind your own business. <laughs> <laughs> it's a military emergency. Anything you touch is an emergency, mate. Ruddy hooligan. I'll lay ten to one. He blows himself up. <gasps> oh, it's all, all right, Maeve. Your boy will be all right. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Nearly through, Pike. Stay where you are. Yes, sir, Frank. Just, just stay where you are. Well, I can't do much else, can I, Uncle? <laughs> Sergeant. I've got a piece of rusty barbed wire sticking in me bum. <laughs> Pass me those cutters, will you? Yes, oh, sir. I'd like volunteer to do the clipper, sir. I'd like volunteer to do the Will clipper. you shut up? I'm sick of the sound of your voice. I've well, never known him like this before. He's won it, you fool. Why, has he got trouble at home? <laughs> Right, we're there, Pike. Well, well, could you clip the bit that's sticking into me you-know-what first? <laughs> <gasps> oh, you, you've no idea what relief that is, Mr Mannering. <sighs> right, do you think you can... <sighs> ..crawl out after us now? I'll, I'll try, but... The ankle done half hurt. You ought to have brought a blanket to drag him with. Yeah. yeah. Would, would you care for a cup of tea before you start back? <laughs> <laughs> Godfrey, how on earth did you get there? I came along from the bedding, uh, Captain. I, I thought he might be frightened on his own. You might have been blown to pieces, man. Yes, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, there's no sugar. I'm very stupid and left it in the hut. Uh, <laughs> I a blanket, though. You were very, very foolish, Godfrey. <laughs> Damn brave, all the same. A man of steel. <laughs> Just like I always say. Yeah. <laughs> the water's getting awfully close, sir. Look. Here, look, I'll tell you what, Taffy. Uh, you go back and shine the light. Right, Sergeant John. Wilson and I will drag him yeah, out on the right. Come on, Frank. Come, Come on, Spike. You get on there. Spread the weight about if you can, in case you go over a deep one. Right. Right. And I'll carry on with the prodding, sir, in case you've missed one, sir. All right. right. You all right, son? Here we go. Right. All right, Sergeant. One, two, three. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh. hey. Oh, big love women, Mum gets a poultice on it. Heave! It was sticking right in, you know. Heave! And, and it was all rusty and all. Heave! Be a pity if I died from lockjaw after all your trouble. Oh, you? <laughs> You'll be quiet, man. For heaven's sake, man. Come on. I think I've struck something, sir. Hey. Let me get through. Right. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, you're all right. Oh, for God's sake. Please. Something there, all right. What are you doing there, then? Praying to Mecca? <laughs> you stand quite still. You could be blown sky high. What are you talking about? This is the engineer officer who laid the mines, and it's all clear here. Oh, yes, it's all clear here. Thank you. <laughs> we didn't lay any in this part. Really? A right fool down there, with your little bayonet poking about? Yes, actually, you could have marched a whole regiment across. The mines stopped 200 yards up the beach. Yes. <sighs> yeah. Well, in that case, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> Go, blimey! It's a mine! A right one you are! Go. All right. Stay where you are, everybody. And don't panic. Don't panic! <laughs> still, Jones! You got me out of this, man! You get me out of it! Stand absolutely still. Nobody move an inch. What do you suggest we do after that? Well, uh, could you lend me your bed? <laughs> 